the Fukushima nuclear accident a year ago sent shockwaves around the world. In India, fears of a similar disaster have fueled a growing anti-nuclear movement. But for India's leaders, nuclear reactors are an economical solution to the power shortages that are stalling growth. NHK World's Neha Gupta reports on the subcontinent's dilemma. I'm standing near the Kudankulam nuclear power plant in southern India. This plant was supposed to start functioning last year, but has been delayed by the protests from local people. After the Fukushima accident, residents intensified their protests, even closing the road to the entrance of the plant. After the Fukushima, so people all awareness, aware, aware the, the radiations. Like Japan, India has also suffered the destructive force of massive tsunami. The waves that struck eight years ago claimed over 16,000 lives. Anxiety has spread among residents who think another giant tsunami could cause a nuclear catastrophe similar to Fukushima. The Selson, a fisherman, lost his house to the tsunami. Having witnessed the ocean's power, he is absolutely opposed to the nuclear plant. For children to continue living here, the nuclear plant must be stopped. India is suffering serious power shortages. The government plans to build an additional 20 nuclear power plants in the next 10 years. It seems the authorities hope opening the plant in Kudankulam will give their nuclear plan momentum. It's not a choice of one particular fuel for India, but everything which we can lay our hands on and everything that we can use. And nuclear is one of the definite choices. The local government has formed a panel of nuclear experts to try and persuade residents. If the government decides to do it by force, that will be very unfortunate because this is a democratic country. With images of Fukushima still fresh in Indian minds, the gap between people and the powers that be are widening. Neha Gupta, NHK World. Couldn't kill him.